Hello friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this very beautiful 3D quilling parrot wall hanging with loads and loads of techniques including flowers, leaves. So let's get started. For this we need some multicolor 3mm quilling strips, 2mm strips, half cut pearl, scissor, RTV silicone clear glue, quilling tool, liquid glue, floral wire, brown floral tape, jute sheet and red and blue color craft paper. So I have already created this parrot template on 200 GSM white sheet and I have colored this using acrylic colors. If you want this template I have given link in description box you can download from there. Now first I am starting with filling the face area of parrot. For this I am taking 1 8 strip of maroon color and making one small teardrop shape. For whole parrot body I am using 2 mm strips but if you don't find 2 mm you can also use 3 mm strips. Like this. In the same way I have created some using maroon and lots of using reds. So around the portion of eye I am first adding one row of maroon color tight coil. I am adding one row of maroon color teardrop shapes. Then remaining portion of the face I will fill with red color teardrops. In the same way fill till this portion. So this is done now. Also on the body I am just making one outline using these teardrops like this. Now I am starting with the wings. For this I am taking red color strip and making 4 loops in increasing order. So here I am creating the loop petal. Cut excess strip and secure the end. In the same way I have already created some loops. Now I am 
taking this triple six RTV silicone, which is from Anna Bond Company, and using the silicone glue, I will start arranging these red color loops one by one. With the help of the silicone glue, we can create three D images very easily. This glue holds any kind of shape very easily. If you want a three D look, otherwise you can use normal glue. But normal glue will give you a flat look, not a three D. So I will prefer to use this. and this is easily available at amazon So this is done. Now I'm starting with the next row. For this, I'm taking half strip of red color and one fourth strip of yellow color and making one semicircle. In the same way, I have created one more semicircle. Now I will join both the semicircles with each other and wrap this whole petal using yellow color strip. In the same way I have created some more. Now I will join these petals one by one below these red loops using the same silicone glue So this is done. Now for the next shape, I am using half strip of blue color and half strip of yellow color, and making one Malaysian flower petal. Now I'm starting with the next row by adding these Malaysian flower petals using silicone glue. So this is done. Now as we created red loops, I have created blue color loops, but this time I have made total 5 loops to create the single loop. Now I'm adding these loops one by one. So this is also done. Now to fill this empty gap, 
I have created some big size loop using red color strip. So the process is same, just you need to add some extra loops to increase the level. You can just connect other strip if required like this. So this is done. Now I will start arranging these loops one by one to fill this gap. like this now I am starting with the feather part for this I am taking this approx 5 by 3 centimeter paper I had just folded this in half this is blue color craft paper and I am cutting it like a feather shape now I am taking one piece of floral wire and connecting this wire between these two blue color shapes now start cutting small fringes all around this feather I am distressing this using blue color archival ink to give it little depth. In the same way I have created some more feathers using red color paper. Now I will start arranging the feathers one by one using the same silicone glue.
so this is done now i'm starting with the eye for this i'm taking one eighth strip of black color and one fourth strip of white color and making one tight leaf shape like this now i will first connect the eye and to fill this remaining gap i am using white color loops so according to the place and according to the area you need to create loops and adjust this around the eye in the same way i will fill whole part and to create beak i am using gray strip black strip and white color strip using the same loop method so after adding the beak it will look like this now i'm just cutting the parrot from all around the edge using my paper cutter and scissor like this so cut it all around this In the same way I have created one more parrot using the same procedure and now I'm cutting this parrot from the edge so after cutting it will look like this so our parrots are ready now I'm proceeding to the flowers for the first flower I am taking half strip of peach color and one fourth strip of orange color and making one leaf shape in the same way we need total five leaves join all five together create a flower and for the center I am using half cut pearl So we need total six this type of flowers. For the next flower, I am taking half strip of pink color and one fourth strip of black color and making one teardrop shape. And again, I am joining five petals and half cut pearl in the center. So we need again total six these type of flowers, and to create the flower 3D, I am pushing it on my palm. For the next flower, I am taking half strip of dark pink color and one fourth strip of light purple, and making one Malaysian flower petal. I am wrapping this whole petal using one fourth strip of dark purple. Now I am joining all seven petals and again adding half cut pearl in the center. So we need four flowers. And for my fourth flower, I am using half strip of yellow color and making one bended semicircle. In the same way, I have created one more yellow bended semicircle. And for the center part, I am using half strip of red color and making one leaf shape. Now I am joining all three parts together and making a petal. And then I will join all five petals and adding 
half cut ball in the center. So we need total 5 this type of flowers. And for my last flower I am taking blue color strip. First I am making 4 loops in increasing order. Then 2-2 two -two loops on left and right sides in decreasing order. Then wrap this whole petalizing remaining strip and connecting one fourth strip of white with this and wrapping it around the petal. Now join all seven petals and add half cut pearl in the center. So we need total two these type of flowers. Now for the leaf I am taking off-white color. Here I am using one fourth strip of off-white. First I am making four loops then I am making two more loops using dark green color then in the same way I have created two more loops join all three loops together and this time I am not cutting it this time I am not cutting the excess green strip I will wrap it around the whole petal and after wrapping you can just cut it or trim it and secure it so leaves are ready for the next leaf I am using half strip of medium green color and one fourth strip of light green color and making one leaf shape And join all three leaves together so this is done now for the next leaf I am taking dark green color strip this is quite similar to the petal which we have created for the blue flower first I am creating five loops in increasing order then three three loops on left and right sides the wrap the remaining strip and secure it so leaf is ready for the next leaf I am taking one fourth strip of mud green color and making one bended leaf shape like this so we need total five this type of petals which are made using one fourth strip and for the bigger one I am taking half strip of mud green color and making one bended leaf so we need total two leaves which are made using half strip now I'm taking one piece of mud green color strip just folding it in half and joining all the petals around this to construct the leaf So this is done in the same way I have created some more leaves using 
light green and dark green color strips for this i have created bended teardrop for above five petals i have used one fourth strip of light green and for below two i have used half strip of light green and also i have created some scrolls using different shades of greens if you want to learn scroll i have given link in description box you can check there so all the shapes are ready along with our cute parrots now it's time to combine all the things together to make a beautiful frame so first i am showing you how to create the branch on which our cute parrot will sit for this i am taking one piece of floral wire and i am wrapping it using crepe paper you can use any color crepe paper like this now i'm wrapping this whole wire using brown color floral tape in the same way i have created branches using different sizes of wire now i am taking this jute sheet base it is easily available at amazon it is called natural jute or natural fiber jute and on the base i have stuck the cardboard to make it sturdy now first time adding these branches if you can't find jute you can also use any pattern paper as a base but to give it little natural look i am using the jute so using the same silicone glue i am connecting these branches here and there now i will connect the parrots so to give the parrot little 3d look i am attaching some random quilling shapes which i am not using for my any project just to give little height to the parrot so using the same glue i am connecting these shapes randomly and see it is giving a proper 3d height to our parrot now i am connecting the parrot with the base like this in the same way i will connect other parrot so after adding the parrot it will look like this also i am adding other branches here and there now it's time to add the flowers in the same way connect other flowers So this is done. 
now i'm starting with the leaves so there is no thumb rule of adding flowers leaves and scrolls you can adjust or decorate as per your requirement or and as per your choice In the same way I will connect other leaves with the flowers. So after connecting all the leaves and scrolls randomly it will look like this. Isn't it looking very pretty and attractive? Now you can just frame it to secure it from dust. So my beautiful project is done for today. I am very happy with my outcome. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.